currently there are two major issues before organized labor. The first one is on the the, the, the work by Ghana Revenue Authority, and also the other one is on the Sun and Assembly. So let's do with the Ghana Revenue Authority first. Ghana Revenue Authority, beginning the last few months, have been writing letters to the various unions where they have stated in those letters that they would want to audit and also look at their tax incomes and all that of the various unions. And for instance, not received a copy. Coalition Consultants has also received a copy, and other working uh, other unions also received the same copies from the Ghana Revenue Authority. But for when 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 they read the content, according to them, they are not so much happy with the reason why Ghana Revenue Authority would want to audit their documents or books, and also some way some are try to get their tax components and all that, which they are not so happy about, and is a reason they called for this meeting. For organizers to take a firm decision to resist that decision by the Ghana Revenue Authority. All right, uh, Daniel Poku, we'll definitely now, be Martin, before, getting... before, before you go, I mentioned two issues. The other one is on the Southern Assembly. As I speak to you, the organized labor has taken a decision that on the 10th of July, every worker should not go to work. So on the 10th of July, organized labor is embarking on a nationwide strike, both for those in the public sector or the civil servants and also those in the private sector. Why? And that is going because the son of this case, if you recall, Labour has been championing that case where three leader unions of the very of Son of Sugli were dismissed because they tried to set up a union at the workplace, which they were sacked. And consistently they have according to that they have engaged the Minister of Employment and Labour Relations. They have also engaged other key partners to get the issues resolved by reinstating those three people, but unfortunately it has not taken place. And as I speak to you now, they have taken a firm decision that on the 10th of July, no worker is going to work, both those, the Ghana private, the GPRTU, i.e. those in the private sector, those in the public sector, on the 10th of July, that's next week Monday, no worker is going to work, unless government comes in to resolve the problem, that is what is going to happen.